So, did you know we make around 5,000 hand gestures every single day? Well, I made that up. But we can quantify the importance of our hands. Access to prosthetics is such a global problem. Uh, according to Limbs International, the WHO estimates that there are 40 million amputees in developing countries. Shockingly, only 5% of these amputees have access to any type of prosthetics. 80% can't afford to buy prosthetics, and 15% who can afford to buy don't have access to prosthetics providers. And in Sudan, almost 50% of amputees are economically inactive. An average myoelectric prosthetic costs in the range from $10 to $30,000, which is ridiculously expensive. And a lot, in a lot of these developing countries, having full physical ability means access to healthcare, education, income, and social acceptance. So we're breaking this wall by creating affordable and high-quality prosthetics to amputees in developing countries. So whenever you want to make a hand gesture, the brain sends an electrical signals to the muscles causing that gesture. We developed an artificial neural network that reads the electrical signals from the residual limb of the amputee and decides what gesture he's trying to make. It then sends a command to a robotic hand made of inexpensive materials using 3D printing to perform that gesture. We also added a wrist rotation mechanism, so the amputee is able to control the rotation of the prosthetic, also using his signals. And finally, we added a sensory feedback system, so whenever the prosthetic touches something, it sends a signal back to the amputee, allowing him to feel that it's touching and how hard it's touching it. So putting all of that together, we get something like this. The prototype features a very simplified design for easy maintenance, a very firm grip. Uh, our algorithm can correctly classify up to five distinct hand gestures at a 97% accuracy, and um, the cost is less than $300. Uh, the project was also featured on Forbes as a promising and exciting development. Um, and finally, I'd like to say I can envision a world with open access to prosthetics. Can you? Thank you. Question on next steps. Are you thinking about uh, joining forces with other organizations that do similar thing but already have a distribution net? Okay, um, we actually collaborated with a research center in Japan specialized in myoelectric prosthetics. So we're already doing some collaborative work with them. Uh, we're also teaming up with a nonprofit organization in Paraguay who are specialized in mechanical body powered prosthetics. How do you plan to scale up the 3D printing for mass manufacture? Um, we're still, uh, because 3D printing addresses the customization problem, that is creating different size prosthetics for different users, uh, which makes it a lot cheaper. <coughs> so I think we're going to focus on that for now, and then we'll maybe think of injection molding or using maybe uh, less expensive material. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>